A few years ago, I was involved in a project that was recording the construction of a tower in Rotterdam. And coincidentally, this tower was being built on uh, the site of my old office from way, way back. So it had this whatever. Anyway, I'm doing this thing and it's... Uh, I found it interesting because, I don't know, I like seeing how things work. I said many, many times, I love watching things. I love watching the way things are put together. And it's one thing to design a building, for example, but it's another thing to actually watch this thing come together. There are all these operations that need to take place in order for a building to suddenly exist. And um, so I'm at the site and I've been going there and you have, uh, what I noticed you have different teams for different phases of the project. So first of all, they have to get the old building out. So they have to strip it down and dig down and take things out. And then you have another group that comes in. And this was happening during um, that these walls that they put, these water... I don't actually know what the English word is for these walls. But they're these, these sort of giant corrugated steel walls that are sort of hammered into the ground and they sort of block the water and they allow you to ex excavate and pour concrete and do other stuff. And so I'm just moving around the site with my hat on and safety gear... And I suddenly, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning, and I heard this noise, and it's a noise that you hear when men can no longer contain themselves because there is a woman in the neighborhood, a woman who they've decided is pretty or beautiful or attractive. And it was a bit odd because on such a building site, you just don't get such people. However, when I looked, I saw a group of men and they're all there. <laughs> it did look a bit, a bit silly. I'm sorry, it just looked silly. And they're pointing up, and there's this red tower that was that was close to where they were building. And I looked up, and I don't know on what floor, but way up, you could see, still see, uh, with the naked eye. There was a lady, and she came out onto the balcony, and she had a bathrobe on. And it wasn't, she didn't quite open it, but it was very, very loose. And these, so she had come out, these guys, and she never looked at them at all. So I saw this and I thought, yeah, okay, look, you know, they say guys on building sites, this is what you expect. I don't know. A couple of days later, I, heard, I was, the, no, a week later, I was there again because it was a long, long project. And I heard the noise again, I saw the woman. Then I talked to one of the guys, one of the, their foremen, who just sort of, oh, got those guys again. And I talked to him. He told me that that lady and these guys, they had this thing that she would come out and they would lose their minds until he shouted at them or told them to behave. And then she would go in. And it was just this game that, they, that she kept playing with them. And he could not get them to stop, to ignore her. It was, it was, they needed this fix of lady in the bathrobe on balcony, very high up. Uh, she came out, they screamed and made all kinds of, you know, the noises, the, the, <laughs> the sort of early human kind of noises. And this just went on, and it went on and went on, and then eventually that phase was done. A new phase came. I never, those guys were gone. I never heard or saw the late, heard noises. I never saw the lady again. That was just one odd thing that um, I saw on that particular building site.